<laughs> okay, and welcome to another. Oh, hold on a minute. I still got the thing up. I'm still recording. How do I pause this stupid thing? Is it pause now? No, it's not pause. Still, the menu's on on the camera. But yeah, welcome to another episode of um, Call Clem's Electronic Workshop. Although this isn't really a workshop, Call to Clem's Electronic Workshop episode, but um, yeah, it's about electronics, so stuff. With our new retro setup. Only temporary, of course. So, anyway, getting to what I was going to say about a long time ago. Very, very long time ago, a viewer sent in a circuit, well, a little circuit board, you know, made up circuit board. This circuit board, as a matter of fact, I've had this for a while and I just haven't got around to making a video about it. In fact, I put it somewhere and completely forgot that I had it. So, doing this video now before I forget it again. Um, pause you. So many of you may remember my homemade tape recorder that I made. And I would actually bring this in front of the camera, but I've bolted this to the desk and I just simply can't be asked to unscrew it. So it's just going to stay there. However, this does have a very noisy amplifier on it. Okay, so I've turned off the noise limiter and um, the noise reduction on the microphone so you can hear all the ambient noise in the room now. If I turn the amplifier up, which the tape recorder is connected to, you can hear there's an ungodly amount of hiss in the amplifier. So that's where this is going to come in. Now, this is a dynamic noise limiter. I think this might be a date code, 7-3-1989. So, it's either made on the 3rd of, um, I mean, the 7th of March, 1989, or um, whatever month 7 is, July, I think? 3rd of July, 1989, or 7th of March, 1999. I never know which one is month and which one is day, so, yeah. Sometimes they put the month first, and sometimes they put the day first, so it's impossible to tell. Now I'm just doing this video unedited because I actually have a pause feature on my video capturing software, so I don't need to um, do any edits. And oh, I've just realised something. I can still see the actual screen capture on the thing there. I better just um, pause and take care of that. I mean, this is like classic Call Dude Clem right here, how I'm doing these videos. I put that sentence, the words in that sentence, completely the wrong way around. What I meant to say, like, this is like classic Call Dude Clem right here, where, how I'm doing these videos. But yeah, so I've got this hooked up to the tape recorder. You know, my homemade tape recorder. I just need to put a battery in that so we can actually give it a little test. There's a suitable battery. Let's just connect this up with my crocodile lips that somehow tied themselves into a knot. I don't know how that happens, so okay. There's a positive. So that will go to plus. And a negative. I just get that on there. It's a negative on the battery. Okay, so. That is hooked up and ready. I've also turned my fan off, so we won't have that noise in the background either. So at the moment, this is powered up, but it's not actually doing anything. It's not actually doing any noise reduction or anything because I've got the switch in, which. For some reason, this switch is the other way around. For some reason, when it's in, that's when it's off, and when it's out, that's when it's on. I don't really know why they did it that way around, but... 
Turn up the amplifier. There's the ungodly amount of hiss again. So when I turn the dynamic noise reduction on, yeah, that's certainly gone down a little. So this is without it. This is with it. So yeah. Next thing, play some audio through this and see how good it sounds. Okay, so, I've got a tape in the tape recorder, ready to be recorded on. And this microphone, I'm going to be saying something onto the tape. And this microphone is connected to both this tape recorder and the computer. So, I'll put it into record. I'm going to make a recording of myself saying absolutely nothing. Wait for the lead. Oh, the leader has got by. So yes, this is cool dude Clem here, recording on his homemade tape recorder. You can see the meter moving as I speak, although you cannot probably see that on the camera. But yeah, I think I'm going to fart. Oh, that was a little tiny one. I thought I was going to do a great big tromboner of a fart that would... And it was just a little one that went... Anyway, yeah, can I play this back through the noise and um, dynamic noise reduction thingy, and we'll see how it goes. I'm also going to record some drums on this. Okay, I don't even know if that last bit just got recorded by the computer, because I think I had it paused while it was recording, and recording while it was paused, so yeah, I'm just going to record that again. So. Take two, I'm having to do this all in, like, well, here we are, this is take two, making a recording on my homemade tape recorder, you've got to say tape recorder like this, you've got to say it as tape recorder, because Cassette Master once said, I have not one single bit of a clue how to record on a tape recorder, I was joking around, so yeah, so this is just a quick and dirty recording made on my homemade tape recorder to test out the dynamic noise reduction. Now I'm going to record some drums into this thing. Alright, so I'm about to record the drums here. Now I'm going to have to turn the microphone off because the way I've got this set up at the moment, if I speak into the microphone, yeah, that's going to get recorded onto the tape as well, so... Let's turn this off, and I shall start the drums, and start the tape recording. Here's if I can get this microphone to turn. Okay, so that's recorded. Just making sure that's rewound. Drum sound is compressed as all hell, but um, I think I had the level set a bit hot, but that's not really going to matter. What does matter is how well this little thingy handles the signal. So, I'm going to play this back into the computer, and I'm going to be turning this on and off as I do so. Now remember, when it's... When the switch is in, that's when the noise reduction is off. And when the switch is out, that's when the noise reduction is on. Okay, so we'll start with the noise reduction off. And let's give it a listen. Well, here we are. This is take two. Making a recording on my homemade tape recorder. You've got to say tape recorder like this. You've got to say it as tape recorder. Because Cassette Master once said, I have not one single bit of a clue how to record on a tape recorder. I was joking around. So yeah. 
So this is just a quick and dirty recording made on my homemade tape recorder to test out the dynamic noise reduction. Now I'm going to record some drums into this thing. So, um, I guess it's time for the conclusion. Now, I suppose you're wondering how I'm doing all this, you know, changing the sentence and everything, even when I'm, even though I'm not editing this video. Well, I can do that while my video capture software is paused. I can still do that, but yeah. So, um, in conclusion, this does seem to reduce the noise. And, you know, it seems to do its job. My speech is getting worse and worse, I swear. But yeah, I definitely heard a reduction in noise. Now, I've heard that this circuit does also have the unintended side effect of reducing the high frequencies, although, personally, I didn't hear that. It sounded pretty much um, unchanged in that respect. But yeah. I'm just going to do one last little bit before I go. Now, one thing I've noticed about this, I don't know why I'm pointing the camera at that, I should be pointing the camera at this, is that even when the battery's disconnected, some of the signal still gets through, even when it's when the noise reduction is on. At the moment it's off, so I'm just going to play a little bit of the tape here. It's going to be through the speakers, not directly through the computer anymore. Reduction. Now I'm going to record some drums into this thing. So, I turn the noise reduction on. You can hear the signal still getting through. It's just a lot quieter. But I'm just connecting the battery up again. Start the tape playing. I wish this speaker would stop cutting out. No difference in levels. Yeah, I think that is a little tiny bit duller with the noise reduction on, but... Yep, I guess that's it for now, and until next time, goodbye. this a try. Oh. Cool. Now we've got Ruby's red I lines. Give this a try. Okay then, give it a try, I don't care. So until next time, goodbye.